Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to discuss the Tone Curve module. As usual, the Dark Table user manual is straight to the point and quite clear. It says that the Tone Curve module is used to alter an image's tones using curves. That's quite nice, isn't it? But well, it's completely true, so why complicate things when they can be this easy? The first thing to notice is that to activate it and to get the histogram, you can click on the pipette here, or the color picker, and move it around the photo to actually see where the area that you're currently hovering over lies on the histogram. Of course the highlights are on the right and the shadows are on the left. Besides the color space drop down menu here, you don't have a lot of options in this module. The controls at the bottom here are related to the curve uh, modification and they're the same for all modules that have curves in them. We'll go through them um, briefly here just to get a recap. But let's start with the color space. You get four options RGB, linked channels, XYZ, linked channels, and lab, independent or linked channels. The default is RGB which according to the ma manual is the one that produces the bet best results for, uh, for adjusting co uh, contrast. But you could try the rest, especially that LAB or lab allows you to work on the channels independently from one another. But the independent channels if is interesting. If you find yourself interested in changing the contrast of the colors independently from one another. Let's continue on the RGB link channel one. So we're going to use the color picker pipette, and maybe brighten the highlights a bit. And then we're gonna Dark in the shadows, and that's the classic S curve for you. And as you can see, we've just increased the contrast. You could work on that differently if you wanted to lighten the dark shadows, then going to pick an area that we want to lighten and then pull it up and here you can see the effect of course if you are looking to uh, uh, brighten or darken separate areas of the photo independent from one another then it's better to look at the tone equalizer module we discussed it in a previous video so check that one out so the basic concept is any point that you pull above the diagonal line gets brighter. Any other point that you pull below the line gets darker. And you can create, you can click to create as many nodes on the curve as you like. Right clicking the mouse button on the curve or on a node deletes it or you can double click on the curve to reset it completely. All right, so let's look at the curve controls that we have here. The first one is the interpolation method, and that's how a continuous curve is created from the few nodes that you add to it. For instance, if I add a node here and a node there, actually all the data that I gave dark table is two nodes however a continuous curve will have to be created from those those two nodes the interpolation method determines how this curve 
is created. <clears throat> Every single one has its advantages and disadvantages. However, for now, you could just go through them and figure out which one gives the best result that you're looking for. As you can see, the curve changes with my selection. And as a result, the effect that you have that we've added to the image is changed with it as well. Next, we have the preserve colors. Since the colors are not uniform across the histogram, a uh, S-curve like this one might change one color more than the other. Here you can choose which algorithm or which method is used to preserve the colors. Again, the best way to see how it works is to put none and you can see directly that my inverted S-curve here has changed the colors dramatically in the photo. You can choose the one that gives the best, well, gives the best results, at least for you, or what you think is the best result. There is no correct or incorrect way, but it depends on the effect that you're trying to achieve. Next, we have the scale, and the option here is linear and log. Basically, the main thing that you need to know is the scale affects how the image is represented on the histogram. Linear, you've got the same weight on all, uh, on all across the histogram, so the shadows get as much space as the highlights. If you choose log, then you get more space in the shadows. That allows you to fine-tune your work on the shadows more than the linear mode. The tone curve comes as well with a few presets. They are more or less self-explanatory. As usual, you can either use them as is, or you can use them as starting point. And adapt them yourself. Of course you can save your own presets and you can delete presets and uh, all of that is covered in the basics videos that we've done a while ago now. You can check that one as well if you're not comfortable with how presets work in Darktable. Tone curve sounds very simple and it is. It is a simple module but it's really powerful and it's one of my go-to modules. Well that's it for this time. I hope that you found it uh, interesting and entertaining. If you have any questions, remarks or corrections, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.